Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Hedeon. And last time we finally built our Sanctuary of Flesh and we took a nice big chunk out of the Tremere. And I think we're gonna keep doing that because I would like to wipe them out because there is no one that Sumichi hates more than the Tremere. But we still have a three year truce so let's just unpause because we are siring another child. So let's just see what happens with that. And we're also swaying our other child, and I think we're doing pretty alright. We are getting positive, and we're pretty good in the positive now. Now we just need to get rid of this rivalry, which uh, would be nice, because he's a decent child, and I would like him to not hate us. But I have orchestrated events so that Mindugaos has fallen within my clutches. In a secluded place, he will not be able to escape. I shall... I shall grant him immortality, even if it means his damnation. And there shouldn't be a question mark there, because I shall. And I can't help but pronounce this as Mindugas. I don't know why, but it just feels right. Oh, and it's Sanguine, which we don't care about anymore, because... Right. We don't do any... Any kind of... Uh, discipline right now. Yeah, right, because we're doing learning right now, which is fine. Oh, and he got awesome horns. Oh, I want your horns. Oh, I'm so jealous. But your new child has taken his first, ten first tentative steps into the night. Very nice. He will figure it out on his own. Oh, my grandson was killed. Huh. But I don't care because this is one of our original original childs, which I don't care about. Although, you... I can force you into an alliance. Which, but <laughs> you are not very strong. So I guess not. Oh, right. Um, actually, uh, your child is still, uh, still has human ties, friends, family and such. As for most young vampires, it's very difficult for him to let them go. Obviously, you know better. And these feelings are better kept under wraps, as the masquerade is, en is endangered by rash actions around mortals, and you often make rash actions with your loved ones. Well, we don't care about the masquerade, so I don't care. Perhaps it's time for your child to learn to let, let go of the past. Oh, And let him have his friends. We don't care about the masquerade. Doesn't matter. But... Um, I don't want to, like, stay on learning experience. So, what we're going to do, because I've gotten some very helpful hints in the comments. Because we are... Ah, oh, dang it, she's... She's Tremere. Shit. <laughs> Crap. Um, I was going to seduce this person, because she can learn, uh, learn or teach us dominate and celerity. Because apparently they can teach us by just being lovers. I guess we can go with... No, she's... Oh, why do I have so many Tremere in my council? I haven't paid attention to who I put there. Um, How about you then? Well, you know what? We're just gonna bite the bullet and <laughs> seduce this person. And... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with seduce. Because I'm not soulmates with any Tremere. I can seduce... Because this is, this is just a ruse to get to dominate. We don't actually like her or care about her or anything like that. We're just using her. So, it's alright. <laughs> that is gonna end our swaying of our son. But, I mean, he likes us pretty, pretty alright right now. Which is very nice. So, now we're just gonna have to hope for a, uh, an event to end our rivalry. And that's gonna be great. I write to inform you that of, of a most appalling discovery I made, made about Count Mieszkoslav. This man is engaging in unsavory, dishonorable act behind my back. So, wh what is he doing? No, but what is he doing? Oh, she's... She's trying to get a hook on me because... Uh, or trying to lose a hook or something. Um, you know what? Let's see what his hook is, or what his thing is. He is an alley cat. Who cares? Because I don't really care about any of these, really. 
Oh, this is my daughter. Man, I don't, I do not have any like <laughs> any sort of knowledge about my previous children. It's like they don't exist because they're always strangers when they turn up to me. Why are you mad at me? Strong believers, deceitful, sadistic. Yeah, I guess the normal things. Oh, and he's the wrong faith. So far, your child has followed your faith mostly because you said so. Obviously, though, he is far from understanding the inner workings of the beast and how to deal with it. You will have to take some time to start this part of the teaching or hire some learned practitioner. Practitioner. <laughs> practitioner. Um, I guess we can do it ourselves. We are fine on stress and I would very much like for him to join our faith. But it doesn't seem to be happening. Hmm. Alright. That's gonna be have, have to be fine. Your child has proven to be quite quirky, uh, quirky in his adaptation to vampirism. He thinks that his new condition is the best way used to making money? He talks all day about how immortality means easy investments, new opportunities and such nonsense. As you sigh, you console yourself by thinking that at least... At least a better hobby than trying to murder you, but you might still want to bring him out of this faith, or this phase. Hmm. Well, you know, he's already in a bad faith, but there's just hostile and not evil, at least. Because he, if he, if he goes with a faith that thinks we're evil, he's gonna get a minus fifty, I think. So maybe we just use the money because we're we're making good bank and we don't really use the money for a lot. Maybe. But he's already yeah, you know what? Maybe he's just a lost cause. So whatever. Who cares? They don't need to know about you because you're a shitty child and I don't like you. <laughs> But in my pursuit of Majestic Merlinda's affection, I would be uh, it would be very helpful to know exactly what her tastes and preferences are. <laughs> oh, that schemer! Dang it! I thought it was the torture t trait, and we could just torture someone into knowing her, her, uh, like uh, her tastes and preferences. Well, we already have, uh, like, perfect success chance, so I don't think we need that. And that is guaranteed to fail. I mean, I guess we can just do this. It's free, and uh, I guess it's fine to have a little bit overflow, since if we get some bad events, then we're still, like, good to go. So that's fine. And he is not our biggest fan. And you aren't even in my court. Well, whether you like me or not, I will have you in my court because you're going to be a champion. And, uh, I mean, we could just imprison you. But uh, that's probably not going to work out. Would like to get a bond on you, and yeah, that is a very good chance. So we can use this to force him to convert. I think that's gonna be fine. Let's get a blood bond on him, and we can do whatever we want. Oh, and we have a perk. Oh, it's a sanguine perk. Hmm. Well then, I guess. Uh, I think Dominate is what I want to go down, because I think Dominate is cool. And I think she had Celerity as well, which is really good for getting like combat stats, right? Isn't there a lot of combat stats here? No. Huh. I thought Celerity gave like a lot of combat stats, but I guess it's just the Celerity Advance that does that. But yeah, I like uh, domination. Man, I want to <laughs> just put this somewhere because this is gonna stay here. Uh, we're gonna have to change our herd, and I guess we're gonna start getting some phlegmatic people. 
just in advance for hopefully when we get domination. So let's uh, manipulate our herd. And uh, yeah, you're worthless, so we're gonna take all of your blood. Because we'll never know if we manage to get a sanguine trait as well. We might as well grab all the experience we can. You are also kind of terrible. So we're just going to drink all of you. Oh, that is so much experience. And we are going to... Yeah, we're going to drink you as well. Because you're also terrible. No, wait, no. There we go. So that should be <laughs> another point. But hey, we might get presents. Present is pretty good. I do like presents. We could never have too much dread, you know? Actually... You don't happen to have presents. Nah. Okay. Might try to get presents from someone else in that case. Actually... Like, one of our kids that likes us a lot, they don't happen to have presents. But you have Dominate. But I can't befriend you, so I can't ask you for... for this stupid trait. Dang it. Well, that's fine. Let's just unpause and let stuff happen. And every man for himself. The forceful knock on the door clears every bit of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a king at this hour? My late night visitor is none other than Bertram. I have to speak with you privately away from listening ears. I've discovered something very interesting. Bertram has discovered a secret of, uh, of Ulrich von Lichtenstein's he's willing to share with me if... I let him off the hook. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't be against having a... Like, secret and hook against you. And I... Oh, this is the guy we um, let come in here for a hook and a conversion. But I mean, he's, he's not great, so... Yeah, yeah, I'll let you off the hook. Or... <laughs> I swear, after this, you'll... Oh, oh. I thought it was gonna be... Yeah, this is what we want. I force him to tell me the secret about him. And uh, he might get wounded. So, yeah. How dare you make demands? So, we learned about his predatory lifestyle. So, we can blackmail him if... Huh, I guess you can't blackmail that. But you can expose him for fun. But I don't think that... Oh, we expose to him that we know. And then we can blackmail him. Okay. So, um, he loses some stress is all that happens. But I guess we can just sit on this for when we need a hook on him. And that's gonna be fine. Wait, we had... Oh wait, that's for the blood bond. Uh, we're still fine. We should see if we can... Is there anyone else that wants to join? No, but there's a lot of agents that just willingly jumped in on this. Oh shit, yeah. No, that's not how I do it. Don't press the, press the X, that is not a good idea. The celebration has come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seems to be over, when Magistix Merlinda suggest suge suggested a reading. Man, why, did, why was that so hard to say? <laughs> a clerk soon arrives, wondering what, uh, what the guest would like to, to hear, and I see my chance to impress Merlinda. Well, I don't know what she likes. But I guess it's just gonna lower by 15 if we fail, so we're still gonna be well above. So that's fine. So, what do we think she likes? She's a gross-ass tr Tremere, so... She probably likes something... Well, they're all about learning stuff, but... I guess religion is learning, so I guess something pious. Let's go with that. And the celebration has come to an end, and the evening's... And this is the same thing. Well, read it again. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Burning the hatchet! That is exactly what I wanted to happen with swaying him. But King Ye Hideon Yaroslavich, we have had our differences in the past, but don't you agree that it's time to let bygones be bygones? My son Ulrich von Liechtenstein gestures to me, from me to him 
whatever is between us, let's start anew. Yes, absolutely. I would love to, because that is gonna make him like us a lot. So, now I'm free to like give him titles and whatever. Now he's gonna be great. We can invite champions if we want, but I don't think we will right now. So let's take that away. Let's take that away. Let's take that away. Let's take that away. And we need some herd people. So, what were we thinking? We were thinking... Domination, which is phlegmatic. Yeah, so... This person is phlegmatic. And it's fleeting, but... Hey, I mean, if she's offering... Why not? Might as well. So, let's grab her. And I guess we can find some mortals with phlegmatic as well and see if we get some good people. Oh, you are pretty old and you are fleeting and you are negligible. Uh, let's just drink her then. We should be able to do this and not... Yeah. The other one can go. That's fine. And... Bind and body. How is our truce? It is 10 months. Okay, we're getting there. The further I delve into my studies, the more apparent the link between mind and body becomes. Too much worry can make you sick, and the mind is no stronger than its vessel. I need a healthy outlet to cope with the strains of ruling. I have read about the benefits of vigorous movements as well as journal journaling to soothe the frayed nerves. So, we get a good, um, good event from just being in learning lifestyle, which is nice. So, we can be a journaler, which gives us a little bit of learning and a little bit of stress loss. And I guess learning is one of our good things. Or athletic, which gives us prowess and stress loss. I think I'd rather have journaler, honestly. So, can we get it? Yeah, nice! The scheme to place a blood bond... Uh, to play... to... The scheme is in place to blood bond Mindegaus, but he is resisting. Rouse the blood. Or we can rouse the blood and exert my will. I'm, I, I'm not against uh, getting some hunger. It is slightly more likely. So I'm gonna just go for it. Come on. Bond. Yes. Perfect. He is blood bonded, and I will use that. Oh, actually, what, what we could do, we can find, find you a spouse. So, I guess, um, do, oh, but he's unlanded, so getting a, hmm, hmm. Do we want him to leave? Because I... Figured we might get an alliance power and then force him to to convert. But I don't know. Ah. I I don't think we need to. Let's just uh, let's just demand a conversion. Oh. It is not enough to force him to Convert, eh? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's annoying. Okay. Well, we could imprison you. Which would be pretty likely if we use the hook. But it is an act of tyranny, which is a problem. Well, I guess we're just gonna sit on this hook for a little bit. And see if we can uh, use that in the future. So, let's just unpause, let things happen, and... Uh, what was it? September? Is that when it ended? No, November. Okay. So, we're almost there. We're just gonna let some time pass. And growing the herd. Excellent. So... That's... Who are you suggesting? No, she is too old to be in a herd. She will die too fast. So let's find some more mortals with phlegmatic. 
Because it is phlegmatic, right? I don't remember wrong now. No, phlegmatic. Excellent. Oh, and we finished our... We finished our seduction. But we're not lovers. So I guess we're doing this again. I need you to be my lover. Uh, searching the area, you find a number of mortals nearby that would be blah blah blah. Ooh, you are... You're intense, though. He's your... You know what? We are gonna hurtify you, even though we might just have you around for, like, a couple of years. Because you're gonna... You're gonna be... Oh, you're temperate, so you are gonna have a little bit better health. But uh, you might still die fairly... Fairly quickly, just because, well, you know. Drawing someone's blood have a tendency to make them a little bit unhealthy. Because they need that blood to live. But we are gonna drink you. That's fine. We still need a little bit more, but we're gonna keep finding some mortals. So that's fine. She was still just negligible, I think, so it wasn't that good of a drink. You're fleeting, so but I guess that's fine. We can get better ones later if we need to. And we will hunt you. And we're gonna drain you fully. Because I think I think that's my third Yeah, that's my third herd person, so oh! We just went over by half a year. Uh, but yeah, that's my third herd person, so now we don't need to herdify a lot of people anymore. Ooh, and we can take whole kingdoms. But I guess we'll save that for when we take this, maybe. Because we can only do it every 50th year. So let's go with Duchy of Nitra. And raise a... Right, I still forgot to do the ghoul thing. <laughs> Because a while back I said, right, when I saw someone have a um, ghoul uh, retinue. So, I have completely forgotten to do the unlock men at arms, which we need to do. It's gonna cost a little bit of hunger, and masquerade will do a thing, but... One of these lets us get the weird fleshy ghoul creatures. And I think, it, yeah, it's got to be the Mask Gould, right? Because this is vampires. Yeah. So Mask Gould. We're going to unlock that. Because that should give us... Uh, yeah, we can make Vojd and Slachta. And just ghouls if we want to. So, yeah. These are <laughs> incredibly, insanely strong. So, uh, they're very expensive. So, we probably won't get them right now. We might get some Slachta. Because they're all so strong, and we have a lot of things that uh, buff ghoul things. Shouldn't this? Shouldn't these guys be buffed by our sanctuary of flesh, though? I was pretty sure a sanctuary of flesh. Yeah. This that should boost those. Do they not? Or is it just these guys? Oh, is it from the from domain thing? Yeah, I bet it's from the domain because it's 31. Uh, this is 25 and the laboratories are another two. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. Yeah, so they are getting it. And we're not going to do that. But let's uh, get rid of these. There we go. And um, it's a little bit expensive. So I think... Let's get rid of one of these, because they are just a little bit expensive right now. And we are gonna grab these guys as well. Because this will be more than enough to... Actually, let's split it once. This is gonna be more than enough to fight the Tremere. So you go there, and you go there. And that's gonna be great. Because they... Yeah, they are still fighting. Oh, they actually have about 3,000. I thought they... No, 300. Okay. Missing a zero. 
<laughs> That's all right. Um, yeah, so they only have 300, so we, we can probably split this again and just send you down there. No, don't take... Don't take the death path, because that seems like a terrible idea. We are gonna drink a lot. Wait, is this not... Okay, we have to completely drain him. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. Because I want to fill up, and the other ones didn't seem to do anything for us. And we are growing our herd. Excellent. So, how are we doing with the phlegmatic already? It's around 33, it's not bad. And we are gonna just keep... Is that all? 93? Yeah, we have a shitty... Wait, we still we can still have another? Did one of them already die? Yeah, the old person... Yeah, like I said, we <laughs> might we get to keep her like a year. Which uh, turns out to be true. Yeah, so I guess we need to find another one. No, uh, we need to find mortals because uh, the one they're suggesting is terrible. There we go. And you are fleeting and... Yeah, okay, fine. At least you're not neg negligible. We'll uh, get some better in the future, but at least he's young so we can hang around for a while. So, let's send you... Okay, let's send you over there. Let's... Uh, oh, wait. There. Let's send you over. And eh, let's send you over there. That's fine. We're fine. Oh, and we don't have enough over there, but that's fine. Uh, Colton Exultion. Countess Casimira stands in the eyes of many as a bulwark of protection of the faith against the corruption of uh, and heresy. Well, that's very nice. Have you gotten another child or did I just misremember? Huh, you're decent. You also have some kids. Oh, and we got a Sadruga. Because I guess you married uh, to that guy. Excellent. Oh, and speaking of ghouls, we have... Okay, they have not... They have not aged enough. But I think we can just unhook those though. But yeah, once these guys come of age, we're going to make some new ghouls. That's going to be great. Oh. You bastard. Okay, you know what? We'll go and do like that. We're going to merge. And we are going to just leave a couple. We're going to go... Is that seriously the fastest way? No, there's no, there's no way. Okay. I guess it's the closest way somehow. Fine. Uh, let's go with Siege over there, but these guys, they're just gonna go and bop these. That should be no problem. Growing the herd, very nice. Oh, and the mood of the clans, whatever. So those guys are dead. Let's, uh, oh, we should slow down a little bit, because it's going a little bit fast right now. But yeah, let's just go and help out with that Siege. And we are just gonna hang around over here and pr probably like siege that maybe. Wait, how? Oh, it's well supplied. No, no, no. I thought it said <laughs> like we're low on supplies. Like how can we be low on supplies? We just walked through our lands. But yeah, that's fine. Go and take that. We're getting close. And uh, we're just gonna wait and see where they show up again. So they'd run over here, but so they should. Just turn up. Right? Any second now? Where the hell are they? <laughs> oh, we're getting more Gehenna omens as well. So the end of the world is coming. Uh, that's fine. Let's just speed up because it seems like they're not turning. Oh, there they are. We are gonna go and try to intercept them. Because uh, they might actually beat these guys. I don't know if they have any good champions. They do have three of them are pretty good. There's one that is just terrible, but that's fine. Yeah, I guess they got some of our ghouls and vamps, so... Oh, <laughs> you almost walked into that one. Oh, come on. Okay, if we just stand there... Yeah, you're locked, you're dead. There we go. Oh, and... 
I control hunt. Oh, this is an old because I already moved. So we are at 89. So let's just go and finish that. And someone is raiding. Okay, there's. I can't stop that. Wait, those are the f the pharaohs of Livonia, right? No, those are the f the free state. Yeah, yeah, that's a free state. Yeah, they're they're far away from home. Oh, are you stealing my shit? Oh, you bastard. That's all right. We should still staring at stars for all my evening for all my evenings watching stars. I have seen with my own eyes that I have only heard of before. The stars moves at a different speed and reverse their current course at different times, but seemingly in large groups, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movements. My cousin does not approve, of course. Let's leave the skies be. The celestial realms is for the Coldens to know. Like, is that, is that really what the Coldens are? Like, I don't think, I don't think it's... Is it a theistic religion? I don't know. I don't really have that much knowledge about the uh, the religions, but like I figure most of them are either like one of the a Abrahamic religions or it's more of a cause. I don't know. But um, I don't think he's right. We are gonna Learn about the heavens. I will find answers in the heavens and you will shut the hell up. And I think we're just going to go take this back. Because they shouldn't have much garrison left. And just take this. There we go. Because hopefully... Nah, we didn't get any prisoners, but that's alright. We don't have any prisoners that we'll give back. So we're just going to end this. Got a big chunk of Nitra. And... Like, we're not gonna declare this war, but I just want to see. How big a chunk can we take? Basically, nothing. Oh. So, do they not have the kingdom of Bavaria? I guess you have the kingdom of... No, you have the duchy of Bavaria. Thought you had the kingdom of Bavaria. Huh, okay. So, this is going to take longer than I thought, because I was hoping to just take this as a kingdom and just take these duchies, but that's alright. We're in no particular rush, and that is a lot of counties. Holy crap. Well, wellity, 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 well. I guess we shall give you some titles. So, let's just like, give you that... We'll give you that. So I want you to be positive so that you'll accept this. Because now it's not that low. Maybe one more so it's positive. Oh, I think it's easier to just grant a title, grant you this. It will give another 40. And now, if we ask for a hook, he might accept. He likes us. The only negative is being a vampire. So, demand it. Come on. My f ah, you bastard. Oh, we can. We can push it. Because we use our... Our weak hook, he will convert, and he will lose a little bit of opinion, but that is fine. So you will believe what I tell you to believe. There we go. So now he likes us plenty. Now I'm happy I gave him some land. But the others, uh, I guess we're just gonna grab or give to some randos. Because you're not powerful, you don't need to sit there anymore. We can assign you. Well, you are, you are a ghoul, but you're a really good ghoul. So we're gonna pop you. Oh, I don't know why I, I don't know why I flinched so much from taking fire. <laughs> I, I I felt like I did something like really stupid the moment I hit fire, but I don't know why. <laughs> uh, do we have any better? 
spy master. I mean, I guess you're slightly better. You're slightly worse, but you are... You're, like, real mad at us that you don't have a seat, but you're gonna be mad at us either way. So, that's fine. Yeah, and... We finished... Um, finished seducing you, so... Please continue to do so until you're my lover. Because... In search Spice, Spice Girl song. Um... Let's see if we have any good, good spy masters. Well, you're already a chancellor. I mean, you're pretty good. And you're a champion. And I can definitely give you a, a, um, what you might call it, a seat on the council. So we're gonna grab you a or give you a bunch of titles. Because I want you to be a powerful vassal. Because we have a strong blood oath. And he's a decent character. So. Let's make him our spy master. Because he is one of the best spy masters in our kingdom. He likes us plenty and we have a hook. So, I think that is gonna be great. And do we have anything good here? We can ransom, which means we have people in our dungeon, which I should absolutely look at. We could usurp Nitra, which we might not. Oh, because there is one. That is so many counties. But I'm in no rush to do, to do that. Uh, unless we start going over the, like, vassal and domain limit and all of that stuff. So, let's check our prison. Oh, it's still just you. Right. Oh, I guess, uh, yeah, we've, we've held you here for a long time now. So, we're gonna torture you a little bit. And uh, let's pop that up and quick click through it. Because uh, of reasons. And uh, since we have our beautiful new little... Uh, our beautiful new flesh sanctuary. We're gonna experiment on you a little bit. Actually, we do you have any good things we can happen to get? No, I don't think so. No, you don't have any... Any... Uh, any disciplines I want, so let's just experiment a little bit. And we're having troubles just getting prisoners, I feel like. Yeah, and I think we need to hold court. As a loud belch echoes through the dining hall, our conversations abruptly ceases. My cousin, Cow uh, court chaplain Kosevyshushile, <laughs> pats his stomach and grins. I will never be able to pronounce that, so I won't even try. Uh, ah, better out than in, me dad always said. Aren't I your dad? Yeah, so I don't think I said that. Various courtiers... Well, I guess uh, his mortal dad might have said that. Either way, various courtiers exchange incredu incredulous glances before my son Ulrich von Lichtenstein looks directly at me and exclaims, My king, that was wholly inappropriate. Certainly you must agree. So we can lose some stress and gain some stress from being arro arrogant. Lose some court grandeur. Can gain some dread and uh, just cuss him out. Which, I mean, it's fine. Don't care too much about that. We should give him some land though. But we're gonna have to do that next war. Because uh, we managed to make him like us. So we can definitely give him some land. But I'm fine just cussing him out for a little bit of dread. Because how we're doing... Yeah, we need to we need to keep up on our dread game. So we're going to cuss him out. And we're going to do this real... Actually, we're going to do this next episode. Because uh, this is time to end it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.